guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm talking about this week's episode of Revenge. Uh, I know my review's a tad bit late, it's because once upon a time I had two hours uh, for this episode, and then Walking Dead I had to watch, and then Revenge. So uh, now I'm here to review this episode of Revenge. As I've been saying, Revenge has been awesome. Uh, this season is such a a drastic improvement from season three and uh, with last episode was a bombshell with da uh, David Clark uh, finally fi uh, figuring out or finding out that Emily is Amanda and Victoria gets electrocuted uh, so we get to see where does David's loyalty lie you know Emily's trying to show her her whole entire heart and soul uh, and David's really not having it. Uh, you know, he's trying to connect with his daughter, but at the same time is blinded by love from Victoria. And Victoria just doesn't want to be alone. She, she keeps trying to push David to her instead of Emily. Uh, and they learn a little bit more about each other. And David was not kidnapped by Conrad, but other people. <laughs> that Emily's trying to figure out who these other people are, even though she promised both Nolan and David that she wouldn't figure it out. But she's still Emily, so she's trying to figure it out. Uh, and then other characters, Louise, she's got a story going on. She wants to get closer to Victoria, and then Nolan uh, makes a deal with Margot. That way he could try to get his publicity up, and he'll help Margot with the whole Louise story. Uh, and, you know, Daniel is really interesting here, too, because Daniel tries to make a connection with Emily again, uh, and then sees his mother, and really just ends that tie and say, you always do this. You always manipulate everybody. I'm done. And I'm not going to be alone. And uh, I'm not going to be anything like you. You're the cautionary tale. And he leaves. Uh, and that's the whole episode. Uh, there are some really great moments here. Another great episode. And I don't know what direction the show's going to go. Um, is it a show about revenge anymore? Yeah, I would say it's always going to be a show about revenge. But there's even more storylines going on than just the Graysons. Uh, it's now this new player in town. Uh, the Emily promises her father to try and make a relationship with him, uh, but still goes after that revenge in a way. And uh, it's interesting to see David see Emily, or slash Amanda, uh, and really just not recognize her. He's like, this is not my little girl. It's like, you don't really know me. I've done everything for you. And David at first just pushes her away and say, I didn't ask for any of that. And then now David wants to make a relationship with his daughter. Uh, and I think that's going to be a fun ride because both Emily and David just don't know anything about each other. And it's going <laughs> to affect a lot of things in the future. Um, you get to see a lot of black uh, sweatsuit Emily Ninja, which is always fun. I'm glad we're getting that side for a lot more, which I think uh, in recent seasons they didn't drop, but you just couldn't see as much because it was more about the drama than it was the action. Now we're getting a good mix of action and drama, of course. Uh, so it's great to see that everyone's really knowing who Emily is now. Um, and I think Emily's discovering who Emily is and who Amanda is. Because the cat's out of the bag, for the most part, uh, all the major players know who Emily is. She's really, I think, realizing who the hell she is now. Um, she has her friends like Nolan and Jack, and, uh, you know, she's trying to make a connection with her father, but, you know, that's always been the discovery, because she has two identities. Um, what, what motives does she have now? Um, what's her mission when her father is there and, you know, her father doesn't want her to do anything? What's the true mission? I think it's not being able to give up on revenge and having a mission. Um, obviously, the, the secondary mission is trying to get Victoria away from David, but there's always that main drive for her, and I think that's always an interesting plot. But even though I love the David and Emily storyline, my favorite scene of the episode, honestly, was the Daniel-Emily scene. Um, and honestly, all the Daniel scenes were great here. Um, I, I, my only complaint from uh, season four was the Louise story, and also Daniel, because Daniel's connected to that story, and that he was just being a douchebag in a way. Uh, and now he's really... I think, try and redeem himself. Uh, he went into some really dark places. He, he's always been trying to redeem himself, but now he's been in that dark place and he just wants to get out of it. And I, 
I think in a way he tried to have a, a shoulder to cry on for Emily. And uh, I love that scene because he's like, T you know, you, you can't stop now. You, you put me through so much. You got to keep going. And even though they're not best friends, it was an interesting interaction where Daniel's kind of rooting for Emily in a way. And even though we haven't seen Charlotte, and I'm sure we'll see Charlotte after midseason, um, it's interesting that the Grayson children are, are a little bit more on Emily's side, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where Daniel goes. I mean, ultimately, I would love him to be part of Team Emily. Um, if he gets enough development, I think that could be possible, and I would really like to see that. And uh, I loved this episode for him, because it was just a big development, um, and hopefully he goes that direction. I think he's a better character that direction. I think that the downward spiral just did not work for him. Uh, but he needed the downward spiral to get to this point and to really separate himself from the Graysons and, you know, hopefully um, make a different name for him, a name for himself. And uh, I love the idea that Victoria never wants to be alone, uh, but because she does the things she does, she's ultimately going to be alone. Uh, so, yeah, good episode. Great character stuff. Um, again, the Louise Margot thing. They should just throw out. I guess they're using it that way. Nolan had a connection with Margot, but they could have totally had a different story. I, I'm telling you, the Louise story just does not make sense. I don't know why it's there. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this episode overall. Can't wait to see where the show goes. Uh, too bad there's not an episode next week because of Thanksgiving. Um, but there will be episode week after. And then we're getting close to mid-season. So, you know what? Revenge, their mid-season finales are pretty epic. So, I'm really curious to see where they can go with this. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and The Rant Situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page, Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later.